12 of the 33 home runs on the team this Badgers. Yeah, and Monticelli has high speed, 68 to seven. At third base, it is so hard to get the ball past her. Ellie Hubbard's up, it'll be Avery Steiner. Kind of an unusual situation for Illinois to play at home and to bat. Ooh, she brought the heat on that one, and the first batter, first strikeout, and the first fist pump at the two spot. Sally does, I'm living on that outside corner. I love that the just that. Go with the batters that are feeling it. Riono and Mead. Hard hit ball. It's a grounder all the way to center field and a one out single. In a career year for most hits, but she bloops that one to the third baseman, Skylar Serdashini, for the, her first touch of the really go back and, and try to focus right on the how oh, honest at first base faking a throw not a bad payoff pitch right at the shortstop cover <laughs> the six doubles the 500 average getting to open things up here for Illinois in the Big Ten softball tournament pitcher she's gonna live in the lower parts of the zone in spite of the last two pitches on four pitches she walks Keller and meeting not just with the infield right now but Tyra Perry kind of collected Kayla Conwin and a wild pitch over the head and it sends Keller to second by the way 10 home runs she's tallied 32 Conwin drills it and finds the cap. Plenty of time for Keller to circle third and score the first run. And Nevin, Mary no. Tur adding average hits, home runs, RBI, and fewer games as well. Anything near the zone. start for them tonight in the bottom of the first. Playing more, shading it to the right. Hubbard typically hits to the left side of the field. In that case, gets that ground out to second report. Here's Peyton Bannon. Ground ball that stays fair. And so Rawls scoops it up and makes the up. They're awfully comfortable here throughout the day, even with the sun setting. Things off. Five, six, and seven hitters here for Illinois. The one hopper. And Hubbard plays it perfectly for the first out. And a free pass here. With just that. The 0 1. Places a beautiful bunt on the third baseline. The rocket arm from Sir. All to second base. Now runner in scoring position. pitches and that one and that one again the timing of that screwball the full count struck her out Ali Schlosser at the plate all the way to straight away center field and it's gone a solo shot to We have a pitching change, and we will take a. He has that east west movement, throws a little bit of a drop off. Ground ball to the right side, taking care of. So one out for Wisconsin. It's best with that outside, low and outside pitch. You see her fishing for it there when you know quadrant and move away from the zone. That's in result of good movement. Great break, just like that. And the out is made. Brings up Riley Crane. Swings at the first pitch. And a high fly ball to left field. Jarvis does her job. Biono. Steiner struck out in her first time up. 
pitch on that outside corner. Steiner thinking about it. In my opinion, with Monticelli versus Steiner. Slips it past into the 5-6 hole and stop. Get on base, really setting the tone. No. Paul Sean Bunt. Illinois batters. Back to back batters where she's taking it to a full count and she walks Powell. A little bit of momentum. Not where you want to be with no outs. Two runners on base here. And the 0 2 coming. Into the dirt. Gets away from Angelopoulos and now the runners advance to second and third. You've got the two strikes on her. Riono. A high fly ball. Stays fair, the catch is made. And which is a big win for Wisconsin to get that out, that first. It's coming back. Chasing it down from center field, that one's deep. The tag is made. Enough. Grounded out in her first time up. Pulls off. Pops it up in the infield. Someone's got to take it. No one does. And Illinois has tied it. She throws in the mid-60s. She has a... Comes in on a 2-0 count, too. Midway through this... Two and two, now the count. And a hard shot right up the middle. Illinois is still keeping this inning going. Milano Ward to the play. That sack bunt. In Maybe the game started speeding up a little too fast for her as well. Yeah. Trying to hug that outside corner. Getting loud. This task. Payoff hitch gets away and loads the bases. Still by a pitch in the second inning in her first plate appearance. Two outs. David all the way on it. A grand slam. Putting them on the board in a big way. Now Wisconsin has some work to do. Right? If there's still a lot of game left, this is a Wisconsin team that has some to shift momentum. These batters are the pitch gets away, so Keller will advance to second. There's a come through big. Trills it, but snags it that for pace. Oh, what a catch! Say in football. And that's kind of what Tyra Perry saw there. It was incredible. Full count to Conway in the dirt. Back to back walks. One to Keller, one to Keller. Interestingly enough, in the top of this lineup, when you look at it, Katie Keller. A couple pops it up. It's still in play. And there were three Illini play. and then work to drive that pitch that falls in the zone. For somebody like a couple who win. Uh, normally, Sydney Sickles, the out of this pitching staff, 149 innings pitched into the dirt, and it loads the bases with one out. It's in the bottom half. And pops it up for the second out. And so the batter up is there. And she taps it, makes contact, charging in to try to make the play. Could have a potential. Thank you. Line up here starting the fourth inning. Crown Paul gets through, and guess what? Steiner left off with the single in the third. Powell, a bouncer, 
Double play opportunity, perhaps. But Powell beats it. Hard grounder again. And if the throw pulls her off the bag. That was Crane who did it. This sort of atmosphere at Eichelberger, and we need to have this every single day, every single An event like this. And usually the host leading things off, Angelopoulos strikes back here for the Badgers, and another solo shot for Wisconsin. Well, these home runs for Wisconsin. Liked as we see Skylar Sardashny at the plate. I liked Yvette Hewitt of energy and message as the head coach. Your players are going to feel that in the dugout. Yeah, and she's got a point. Games. Ball's working the count deep. Struck her out. The big moments are coming through. Shallow fly ball to left. And Angel Apolis is in the fourth. <laughs> Keller flies out. First time that Illinois has got. Shout out to her husband too, Dylan, who played football. He's a defensive back at Illinois as well. And both of these teams showing a lot of patience at the. Popped it up. And Ward calls everyone off to make the out. This team, a lot of talent, a lot of experience. And uh, harder to keep it from happening. High bouncer, that is tough to, to handle. Goes right underneath the glove of Steiner. He's staying patient on this Wisconsin pitching staff. Happened there in the third. Yeah, and look at this. Same opportunity for ground ball this time in the infield. The play to first base. The out is made, but a run is scored to get Gabby Robles grounded out in the third. One ball, two strikes. The count full. Good quality at bat. Really make it difficult. Well, she goes for it again, puts it in play, and it's Hubbard who fields it nicely. <laughs> Illinois for the Badgers. Oh, the, in the third, remember the, the Badgers loaded the bases. And there you have it, Conwin is on. On every single inning. Two of those were home runs. As you, as you pointed out, not in a situation where there's runners really on the, the base pass when she comes to the plate. And then Wisconsin would turn around, and that's, you know, Keller's been on base and his score cross, but it's about one at a time. To the outfield and off the wall is Sun Hole. The throw is going to be off the mark, and Conway covered. Laying down the bunt, how about a squeeze? Got it. And plenty that you can play with a little bit. Well, and you had no outs, right? So. And Peyton Bannon taking off to second base. The throw's cut off. Well, Bannon, the perfect bat. A lot of balls. Damn. She pops it up. Maybe a gift to the Illini. Now two away. So, Daniel Davis. Ended up being the right person up to that one falling just a little low. It's a foul ball, but it's playable. So what a day in the first day. Both of these teams been showing the long ball. Only a run in, in the last couple of innings going into the ball through the infield. And a couple of bases, Steiner head first dive into third. Here today, kind of on the rise. Battle the day before to show up. Another right up the middle, it's another RBI single for Illinois as Steiner scores to make it eight to four. Angelopoulos feeling that one. 
another foul ball. Bounce just enough to get a, a little bit of it. He mix it well enough. Ground ball. So Dashni makes the out. In to keep pushing those runs across. I mean, if you and keep Millette's timing off. Got her swinging. Now it's Delaney Rummel's turn. A little bit ahead of that one. And coming over to make this tournament. They are the visitors here in this game. Ground ball. Hard hits. And Jarvis handles. This is Riley Crane in the number nine spot. Looking to turn the lineup over. Got her swinging. And the throw to first. Used to being in a walk from Kayla Conwent that Cuffle. Oh, there's a crowd foul. Ends in and it saves. And places it. And he stays alive for Illinois. And yeah, and Avery Steiner steps in and connects with it. A fly ball, though, to right field. And Linkletter makes the play to keep the hopes of the Badgers alive. Struck her out. Illinois rises to the occasion at home. And the orders.